hi welcome back to my channel as you can see this is HP 15.6 uh, inch laptop the model number is HP 15-BW0XX so today we're gonna install Windows 10 from the USB bootable thumb drive which is that one alright so we need to get into BIOS and change a couple of settings to install it so first I'm gonna connect it to the USB port and then make sure your charger is connected because you need power okay then press the power button press F9 so once you press F9 the temporary boot option would be available uh, the battery got issue okay so I press enter and now straight away it will take us to the temporary boot but in the temporary boot option I'm not able to see my bootable USB on the list the reason is this is turned off from the BIOS so now I'm gonna press F10 to get into the main screen as you can see this is the main screen now from here from the main menu you can see all about this model like how much uh, date and time and then how much space you have the RAM and everything all about your laptop details and then security there is nothing okay this is the option you might need it today because if you would like to install Windows 11 but we are installing Windows 10 so the system configuration we're going to go to the down menu which is boot option from here as you can see this is uh, legacy support is disabled okay that's the reason why I'm not able to see my things in there so make sure you make it enable once you make it enable then secure boot would be disabled by itself so now everything is absolutely fine okay and we just going to save the settings by F10 hit enter yes and again keep pressing F9 to get into temporary boot option as you can see now you need to enter four digit code and enter to save the changes it could be it depend your one would be different definitely now as you can see on the boot option we can we are able to see the USB hard drive which is Kingston data traveler 3.0 I'm gonna hit enter and this one would take me directly to the uh, Windows setup page okay so this process is quite long uh, we need to choose the language time and you know currency format keyboard import and everything yeah, okay it absolutely depend on where you are and what you prefer and from now on I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna make it faster I mean speed up the actual video because there is nothing else too much to show okay so let's carry on until the hard drive format so accept the terms and condition hit next make sure you do that otherwise you would not be able to go forward and then I would like to freshly install so I choose the bottom option now all the partition that you can see I'm gonna delete it and if you delete your one you're gonna lose your existing data so be careful make sure you have the backup first then one by one I'm gonna delete the partition so it would be only one partition altogether so let's do rest of them if you want to make more than one partition also I would show you how to do that it's super simple delete it now as you can see this is 2 TB uh, hard drive so I'm gonna click on new once I click on new it's gonna give me how much specification that I would like to select I'm gonna choose 1000 uh, uh, 100 and then it's gonna create with the specific size and then the bottom one I'm going to create and apply so there are two I'm going to choose bigger one for Windows and hit next once I do that now it's going to fill up so let's make the video a little bit faster move
now the computer would restart uh, it takes a couple of restart and then it's gonna go to the final page okay uh, hit enter if you have battery issue like me and then it would restart again okay and then it's gonna ask you about to choose the name and some permission from you and authorization to get the settings how your window should react and stuff like that which is super simple but still guys if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and very soon I'm gonna bring more videos that how to install Windows 11 into the same machine okay by the way this machine is enabled for Windows 11 uh, if you would like to know how to install Windows 11 into the machine please let me know in the comment section and I hope I'll see you in the next video bye for now guys Thank you so much.